Cheers! Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie, movie Bitches. Bitches. Fall movie catch-up. So, we also both watched yes. a movie called Spin Me Round. Yeah. Yes, so on paper, I was excited and in. The poster is fun. It's ripping on um, Fabio romance novel covers. Yep. So I was like, fun. Yep. Uh, Molly Shannon. That, I mean, that's all I needed to know. Yep. Lighten up a little bit, please. Uh, but yes, Aubrey Plaza, Allison Brie, yep. Zach Woods. Yeah. Other people. I'm a repository for Nikki's dirty secrets. <laughs> You seem so open-minded. Why does everyone keep telling me that? Wouldn't recommend it. It was very meh. It was pretty meh. It was watchable, but barely so for me. I mean, that's really harsh. But, like, it just never went anywhere. No, it seemed like it was going to be more interesting than it ended up being. Um... You know what this really reminded me of? Hmm. I don't think you've watched it yet still, which you're probably fine, to be honest. But White Lotus... Right, show. you told me about it, yeah. Like, a similar kind of, like, cast vibe where you're like, oh, these are people, you know, Jennifer Coolidge is there. I'm in. I'm in. Yeah. But then Just the nothing... whole thing, they're like, isn't this weird? Oh, what's so weird about this? Oh, something's got to be real weird about this. Yeah. And then in the end, it's like, well, no, that that wasn't that weird. He was just doing some drugs, and then things got out of hand. I don't know. Oh, they were having an orgy, and things got out of hand. Spoiler yeah. alert. Sorry. Spoiler but alert. Like, the big the big to do is that oh, they were having a mediocre orgy. Pretty yeah, like pretty provincial. Provincial orgy. Orgy. Like it was just like. <laughs> I mean, it was in like Italy like, or whatever, and France. What was it? I guess everyone was like. In sexy lingerie and writhing. There was a, there was a writhing. dildo gun. There was writhing. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know. It, it just it didn't get that explicit to it the point. It was not eyes wide shut. There was such build up to like something yeah. weird and nefarious is yeah. going on. Then it was like, oh no, we're just kind of, you know. <laughs> just locals. <laughs> sort of just bored in this small bored. town and we're having a yeah. having a good old fashioned orgy. And if you want to join, come on. It was like, oh, well, okay, the, that was more, all this built up to. The more you picked at, so basically, so Alison Brie is the star. She's sort of the sad regional, regional manager. manager of a not Olive Garden. Yeah. Who gets picked to go on a Italian vacation sponsorship program through the company. Yeah, to like train them and for, show them Italy because Olive Garden. Yeah. And, it kind um, of you remember that that little short um, Great Choice? No. Oh, we should play a part of it right now. What sounds good to you folks tonight? 30 shrimp, please. Great choice. Mm -hmm. And actually kind of crazy, Carrie Coon and her husband, Mr. Russell. In the show. Are both in Great Choice. Great Choice. Great choices. Great choices. <laughs> but anyway, it has that kind of like, what? But that was a short thing that was like two minutes and this was an entire movie and they lost their way. Yeah, it just didn't, it just didn't go anywhere. It turns out that the guy who started the company is kind of a schmuck and it's like only pretty manager, only right. pretty female managers get picked to go on this. But I was like, that seems like you're going to get found out pretty quickly. Pretty quickly. Particularly if you're fucking all of them. But he was just sort of like romancing all of them. And like from the get, you're just like, no, right. Nothing was landing. Like they get to Italy, and the guy that's running the that's like the camp head camp counselor or whatever right. is like, "Give me your passports." And I was, I was like, like, "Nope, no. <laughs> I won't be doing that, sir." No. <laughs> I, will. I will not. Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, great. But the more you picked at it, you were like, "So is this like he was systematically created this program just to fuck?" Right? A bunch of, you're just like, it, it's got to be easier than this, bro. Ah! Like, I don't know. It was just right, You were a billionaire such, and whatever. Like, what are we doing? We've set up this school and we got the chef and we've got the whole week of like, But the school was shitty and it was in like a shitty hotel. Like, oh, look, we have this mansion, but you won't stay there. You stay in the... It just didn't come it didn't, to anything. It didn't come together. And um, and it seems like something more, more sinister is going on and then it's not. Molly Shannon's there. She has fabulous outfits. Yeah. But like, she was the best part, I would say, but... Aubrey Plaza was fun, but then she but literally she disappeared disappears. from the movie. Perhaps literally. <laughs> like, we don't know if she left or was killed. We don't know. We and don't. we never know and no one asks. <laughs> and I was worried. <laughs> he was like, he's like a creep the whole time. He's like, oh, she quit this morning. Yeah. Mm. Never to be even asked of again. It was so strange. Very, yeah. 
So strange. Yeah. So yeah, you could skip it. It was a full meh. Yeah, full, unfortunately. Mm -hmm.